In this example, we will use the lowest common multiple to solve each equation. In part A, we have the equation 3 plus x over 7 equals 3 over 2. There is no quick way to write this as fraction equals fraction, so we won't use cross multiplication. We'll use the lowest common multiple method instead. The two denominators are 7 and 2. Each of these fits evenly into 14, so 14 is the lowest common multiple. Now multiply both sides by 14. You can write this out by wrapping each side in brackets and then attaching times 14. On the left side, we can distribute 14 through the brackets. On the right side, we can rewrite the multiplication to make it more compact. We will now use cancelling to reduce the fractions. For the middle term, 7 fits into 7 once, and 7 fits into 14 twice. On the right side, 2 fits into 2 once, and it fits into 14 7 times. The coefficient of the middle term is now 2, and the coefficient on the right side is 7. Simplify to get 42 plus 2x equals 21. Collect the constants on the right side, giving us 2x equals minus 21. Divide both sides by 2, giving us a final answer, x equals minus 21 over 2. In part b, we have another equation with multiple terms and fractional coefficients. The LCM for 2, 3, and 6 is 6. Multiply both sides of the equation by 6. Distribute 6 through the brackets. Now we'll use cancelling to reduce the fractions. For the first term, 2 goes into itself once, and it goes into 6 3 times. In the next term, 3 goes into itself once, and into 6 2 times. On the right side, 6 goes into itself once, and into 6 1 time. We now have 3 times 5x, plus 2 times 2, equals 1 times 1. Simplify to get 15x plus 4 equals 1. Collect the constants on the right side. Divide both sides by 15 to isolate x. This gives us minus 3 over 15, which reduces to minus 1 over 5, and that's our final answer. Now we'll solve part C. The two denominators are 4 and 2. The lowest common multiple for these numbers is 4. Multiply both sides of the equation by 4. Next, distribute the 4 through the brackets. Use cancelling to reduce the fractions. We now have 1 times 3x minus 2 times 3 equals 4 times 1. Simplifying gives 3x minus 6 equals 4. Collect the constants on the right side to get 3x equals 10. Divide both sides by 3 to get the final answer of 10 over 3.
Now we'll solve part D. The LCM for 5, 10, and 2 is 10. Multiply both sides of the equation by 10. Distribute 10 through the brackets. Use cancelling to reduce each fraction. We now have 2 times 2 minus 1 times 1 equals 5 times x. Simplify to get 4 minus 1 equals 5x. This gives us 3 equals 5x. Divide both sides by 5 to get the final answer of 3 over 5.